Hello and welcome to 2K Sports. You're watching the NBA. Wednesday in the NBA. It'll be Blake Griffin and the Los Angeles Clippers facing off against Luis Scola and the Houston Rockets. And that's all from the studio. I'll be back soon with the HB Halftime Report. But now, I'll toss it over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the crew. It's the Los Angeles Clippers facing the Houston Rockets. This is Kevin Harlan here to call the action with me, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg. State Farm brings you tonight's starting players. Here are the five for the Clippers. Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, they're inside. Chris Paul is out there with Chauncey Billups, and it's Butler in at the three. And for the Rockets, Lowry and Martin manning the backcourt. Chase Budinger and Luis Scola are the forwards. And it's Hayes in at the center position. Man, is he hard to defend. You play him one way, he'll just go the other. You know, guys, I like what the Clippers have done. They have added some really good young talent to build on, and they're looking to improve upon their 9-32 and road record of last season. Now, here is Lowry. Easy shot, and the jumper is good. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Here's Paul. And a young team like the Clippers, Steve, you know, what do you think are some of the keys to winning on the road? Well, it starts with defense and rebounds because uh, when you go on the road, you can't count on... ...making long shots and getting transition and finding easy points. The game's going to be tougher. So you have to defend and rebound to give yourself a chance. Paul gets called for the reach. That is his first foul of the game. First Over here, over here. Here's Lowry. Karan Butler covering. Down low. Puts up the baby hook. Good. Here's Paul. And Griffin backs in. And he puts it down with authority. Right slam cam for another angle. Boy, that dunk First got... Point. Everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the sundae on that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Clippers making a switch here. Gomes has checked in. Oh, Blake Griffin has a little small town flavor to him. Oh! Tell you what, his vertical skills are outstanding. He can fly and float. <laughs> he just proved it too. And not only that, he's got the dexterity and composure. to go along with those hops. He's, he's quite a player. Here's Billups. The Rockets making the shot. That's a two from Paul. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Paul's got his first two points. Here's Houston now. Outside, Mark. For three, gets it to go. Buttinger's got five points so far. His eyes were wide open there, guys. Excellent vision to see they had an open shot outside and get it there. Paul for three. The basket good off the assist from Billups. Vinny Del Negro didn't have an easy go of it leading the way for the Clippers in his first year coaching that team, but he was able to get them to up their win total, and that's something to build off of. And he gets a three of his own. Good answer there. Yeah, he's not scared to trade shots like that. Paul for three, and that is good. Eight points for him. They strike right back with a three of their own. Steve, that's a great way to respond after giving up the long ball. Well, getting back to Del Negro, Clark, I mean, it, this is a team that has a lot of young talent. You got Blake Griffin to build around. 
but it, it, it's had a losing culture for so long. So this is a tough job. I mean, he's got to really change their style, get them to buy into playing defense and playing together and try to build some momentum with a franchise that really never has had any. I think their only hope now, Clark, is to slow him down with a double team. Well, they got to stop the bleeding, put the tourniquet on, and it's, he's been tough to play straight up. Now, here is Lowry. That is good. You know, Kevin, he outweighs his man by quite a bit in that matchup, and he did the right thing by going straight to the rim. Don't mess around with him. Well, the Rockets just barely missed out on making the playoffs a year ago, but they were tough on their home court. They went 25-16 and 16 in Houston. Paul with the bucket. My goodness, he's going off in this court. He's got the guys on the bench going crazy. Rally towels and all. Here's Martin. They rule this one. Goaltender. Count the shot. Yeah, both teams are scoring. But there hasn't been much defensive resistance either. Oh, boy. It looks like he was injured there. Boy, what a tough break. I hope he doesn't have to miss too much of the action. Well, we'll find out in a little bit. Um, man, let's just hope he's okay. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Patrick Patterson. He's checked in for Hayes. Lee comes in for Chase Buttinger. And it's Drogic in for Kevin Martin. Shoots from the baseline. Rockets trail. Lowry passes to Dragic. And there's the pass to Lee. Makes the lead pass. And that one's good. Well, Steve, talking about this Houston front office. Very forward thinking. They've got some smart people in there crunching the numbers. Now a lot of teams. Oh! Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Give and take, back and forth, the whole way thus far. Yeah, six lead changes already, and as Rasheed Wallace once said, both teams playing hard, my man. Here's Dragic. 58 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Stolen away. That's just a sloppy pass. A lack of focus there. Oh, yeah! yeah. Throws down the alley-oop slam. That's how it works. Your defense feeds into the offense. Yeah, you know... Excellent work, I thought. Solid work on both ends in that particular sequence. Outside Lowry. Dragic with it. There's Lee with the three. That's him coming off an assist from Dragic. And that makes it a tie ball game. What a marvelous job they've done of sharing the basketball. A ton of assists. Well, they know where each other is all the time. They're moving the ball, just finding the open guy. Nobody seems to care who scores. And so they foul intentionally. I have no idea why he was fouling there. And even the foul, I mean, you can't be wrapping guys up like that. I mean, it, it just doesn't make any sense. That's a meaningless play. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Chuck Hayes is checked in for scope. Budinger checks in for Goran Dragic. And Johnny Flynn is subbed in for Kyle Lauer. Backing down his lead. Makes the most of the high percentage shot. Lee's got five points so far. Right out of the gate, just filling it up. Both teams are, guys. I mean, points coming fast and furious. The basket. Coming early and often in the first quarter. The Clippers on top, leading by four.
And now the second quarter just getting set to start. Uh, Mo Williams came over to the Clippers in that deal for Baron Davis at the deadline a season ago. And his numbers really picked up after that trade. He was very happy with the move and he played very well with the Clippers. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Rockets. We've got Lee. Patrick Patterson is out there at Buttinger. Then there's Dragic. And it's Hayes in at the five, roaming the paint. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Kevin, Karan Butler started a program in the summer called Bike Brigade, where he helped provide bikes to 2,500 children and encouraged them to get out and exercise. He's pretty passionate about cycling. doing it in the off season to stay in shape he said quote i've done some mountain biking trails in virginia near where i live but i prefer the road to get my cardio on i'm good on the hills i can see the championship trophy at the top of every one of them he said he doesn't do stationary bikes though adding it's outdoors or nothing for me pat riley had me ride on stationary bikes all the time when i was a rookie in miami and it's bad memories man guys still traumatized thanks doris <laughs> yeah Riley's conditioning regimen, really legendary, and he's really put his players through it over the years. For three, Bledso, and again, it's the Clippers from deep. Now they could have taken it to the hoop, but they'll take the three-pointer for sure. And here's Hayes. Lee, left side. That's the free fly, and Dragic with the basket on the assist by Lee. Dragic has got five. He can be dangerous from out there. As a matter of fact, he can be lethal. His first from the arc after having none in the first quarter. Keep an eye on him. You know, it may not sound like much, but the Clippers managed to go 19-33 and 33 against the Western Conference last season. That was a solid four-game improvement, though, over the prior season. Here's the three. Moon with the bucket. That's a tougher shot than you hope for off a fast break, but you can't argue with the result. Rockets trail by four. Here's Dragic. He has five. Brilliant. Gets the reach-in call. That is his first foul of the game. Our hit has rattled off that nice record against the West. Their best mark, uh, Steve, in the last three seasons. Yeah, but still the third worst overall record in the West. I mean, it, it is no easy task trying to move your way up this Western Conference. Catching up in the changes for Houston. Luis Scola, he's checked in for Hayes. Here comes in for Patrick Patterson. And it's fouled in for Gordon Drakic. Here's Jordan. The basket good off the assist from Billups. And the Clippers lead by four. Williams against Lowe. And shot on the way. Again, the Rockets score. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there, isn't it? Just hope it's a bump or a bruise and that he's back out on the floor soon. You know, see, just one of those things, it, it does happen in, in the course of battle. We'll see. Kevin Martin, he's checked in for Kyle Lowry. Now the Clippers with it. Kevin McHale getting back into the league, guys, after a stint as a broadcaster. I mean, that seems the path to go to coaching. Steve, are you headed to the sideline sometime soon? The Rockets felt he was the right guy for the job, and he very well might be. Are you kidding me? I, I work one night a week, and I got summers off. Why would I would ever leave this seat. You got it. <laughs> Here is Williams. 152 left here in the second. Defense! 
And Griffin backs in from down low. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Six points for Blake Griffin. Well, you mentioned McHale, Clark, and you know, with their roster, I think he's a great fit because they have a lot of young post players that they can use his tutelage, and, and I think that's his specialty, Kevin McHale, his ability to relate but to young post players and the ability to teach them. He's going to be a big addition for that franchise. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Hey, Kevin. Well, the Clippers traded away their first-round pick last season to the Cavs. At the time, because the draft was not supposed to be that great, they didn't think too highly of it, saying they didn't see anyone they particularly thought of that high in the draft. But it ended up being the number one overall selection. We'll see how that pick pans out over the next several years, guys. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. You know, it certainly isn't paying off in the short term. Well, obviously, you know, after the fact, you say, well, they should have kept the pick. They'd either have Derek Williams or Kyrie Irving right now, but it's too late now. And at the time, they were just trying to save money, and they felt like they had their positions covered. 59 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Patterson. Good! Well, he really used a height advantage there down on the block. Here's Billups. Seven points in the game. That's a two from Paul. The basket good off the assist from Billups. 18 points for Chris Paul. Rockets from outside. That's good. Starting to get a little momentum here. After that scoreless first point. There's 39 seconds left now here in the second. Al Paul. He's got 18. Three pointer. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Oh, they're getting scorched by all these open threes they're giving up. Yeah, it's really been the biggest pitfall for this club so far tonight. So many wide-open looks for the opponent. There's Dragic with the three. Count that one. Dragic has got 11 here in this quarter alone. The Clippers in the lead. Now here's Paul. He's got 21. Takes a three. Good on the shot. Paul's got 24 points. Guy's been an artist with that three-point shot. He sure has been, Steve. I mean, the majority of his points have come from out there. Clippers lead by five. And it's halftime out in Houston. We got a great one going on there. Glad to have you with us. I'm Damon Bruce. Now it's time for our HP Halftime Report. The Los Angeles Clippers in front against Houston. The three-point shooting? Ridiculous. They're knocking down everything. Chris Paul having no trouble against Houston. Seems like everything's falling for him. Not sure if he even knows how to miss. The Rockets have been plugging away. I don't think you see field goal percentages this high in layup lines. They've been simply outstanding tonight. Goran Dragic with some valuable contributions. He has 11 points and has set his teammates up with a few timely assists. Strong showing so far by these two in the action today, leading their team in points in the first half. That's it for us now. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you enjoy the second half. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Here's Paul. 
You know, guys, after four seasons with Coach Adelman at the helm, the Rockets front brass decided to go in a new direction this offseason. A little bit surprising because of Rick Adelman's respect and success around the league. Um, a bold move for a franchise. He's not afraid to think differently. I think Adelman did a great job helping that team overachieve, though. So for the Clippers right now, Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, they're inside. Chauncey Billups out there with Chris Paul, and it's... Butler in at the three, the small forward. And Steve, you know, Adelman was it in favor of the new direction that the front office wanted to go with the Rockets. Well, that disagreement uh, had to be a big reason they parted ways because uh, the front office was not very specific uh, about exactly what they wanted to do. Uh, but I guess we'll find out soon enough here in the, in the years to come. But you've got to get the ball out of his hands. Bring an extra defender and force somebody else to beat you. I agree with you. Make him give it up. And then Paul slams it in. Here's a second look with the Sprite Slam Cam. Now that's just rubbing it in, fella. Throwing it down with style. Uh, these folks are not going to forget that one anytime soon. But the Hornets couldn't overcome the Lakers in the playoffs, but Chris Paul was just magical in some of those games, particularly in game one. Terrific. You've got to give him a lot of respect for how he played. And Buttinger kicks to Dragic. There's the block. Clippers leading by eight. Paul dishes to Billups. For the three, and the shot is good. Billups has got ten. And back to Paul. You know, I, I had a chance to call that Laker-New Orleans series last year, Clark, and that game one win and that game four win. Steve, he was on another level. Yeah, that was incredible. The triple-double in game four, as you mentioned, Kevin, he just completely dominated that game. The Lakers just had no answer for his penetration, and he is just a maestro out there as a point guard. So beautiful to watch. Dragic with it. He's got 13. No one covered. Dragic has got five points now this quarter. Backing down is Jordan. Griffin passes to Billups. A three ball, and again, it's the Clippers from deep. Nine straight points for them off of wide open looks from deep. Something has to change for this deep. Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, make and put it on the floor. The Rockets making a switch here. Flynn's checked in. Craig Smith, he's checked in for the Clippers. Here is Flynn. Here's Scola. That ball is nice feed that time from Johnny Flynn. Scola's got his second bucket of the game to go. Here's Jordan. The Rockets pull it in. He'll usually knock that shot down. He sure will, but that's one he couldn't pass up. Here's Flynn. Paul knocks it away. Clippers leading by 10. Covered by Flynn. Left side, Jordan. There's the three. Gets it to go. Smith's got himself on the board with three there. Well, defensively, the Rockets have been going in the wrong direction the last few seasons. Remember, they were once a top-five defensive ball club, but the last couple of seasons, they've become more offensive-minded, but their defense is suffering. That one goes. Come He is not the guy you want to leave open behind the arc, guys. I mean, come on. you got to understand who you're defending. Pulls up on the wing, and the Clippers getting another bucket right there. We'll keep talking about the Rockets defensively when you consider that their front court featured a 6'9 power forward, a 6'6 center. They, they could have been a lot worse defensively. But to their credit, they competed really hard at that end of the floor. They tried to eliminate it from a personnel standpoint, and without any shot blocking inside, I think it's really hard to be an elite defensive team. You, know, you need presence inside. Shot sure. blocking helps. But you need size at the rim to dissuade easy opportunities, and the Rockets really didn't have much of that at all. And still showed uh, 
pretty good grit in how they competed on defense. Ball outside. Martin against Billups. Fires from deep. And another three for the Clippers. Four of the last five coming from long range. This offense is cooking. Yeah, it's rolling. Really rolling in defense. Maybe they kept the last one, Steve. Leaving them open. So now they're in trouble. They can really deliver that. Here's Rutland. And he notices a quick shot is blocked. Clippers leading by nine. And a chance to go for the two for one. But we'll see if they can do that. You know, even though it's transition, he's got the green light to fire from there if he has a good look at it. And now we've got the intentional foul for the Rockets. Jordan Hill, he's checked in for eight. Patterson comes in for Luis Cola. And it's Dragic in for Johnny Flynn. A big group substitution here for the Clippers. Jamario Moon, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Cola comes in for Blake Griffin. Eric Bledsoe has checked in for Chauncey Billups. And Mo Williams subbed in for Chris Paul. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. He's dialed in from long range. They got to stay in his hip pocket and deny him the catch. Releases from 15. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. He got that one, but he hasn't been producing the way we're accustomed to. He needs to look for a shot a bit more. Up top, Dragic. He's guarded by Williams. Dragic with it, working on Williams. That's good. Dragic has got nine points now in just the second half. Fires from the wing. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Paul's been great. 31 points, and he's buried a ton of three-pointers in this game, too. Yeah, it's getting harder to keep track of just how many of those he's hit. And we'll be back live from Houston. Still getting underway here in the fourth. Let's go down to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Spark of the Game report. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. It's the Clippers with the Spark of the Game with that push we saw. The changing point in this game was when they got hot in the third quarter and opened things up. They'll look to keep that level of play as we head into the final period. All right, Doris, thank you. That run has made a difference, guys. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's what got them off and going. Yeah, they were really able to seize the momentum at that point, and they just rode it. We've got Hill. Johnny Flynn is out there with Lee. And it's Hayes. And it's Patterson in at the three spot. That's the five for Houston right now. Here's Flynn. Again, the Rockets score. Hey, what? It has been all offense all game long. You know what? This is really fun to watch, guys. I mean, as a coach, though, this is when you want to just harness this energy and bottle it up and ride it all the way. You know, guys, you look at it. One turnover in the game, sometimes that can get overlooked. But I think it shows how well he's playing. I mean, he's really making the most of every possession. Patterson, that's good. Well, they've done a lot of their damage from mid-range here, guys. I mean, knocking down those shots with regularity. Yeah, how about eight of their last ten points, guys, coming off that mid-range area jump shot. So, shows you, you don't have to be at the rim to score. Rockets trail by eight. And here is Flynn over Jordan. Makes good on the step-back jumper. Flynn's got four this quarter. That's ten straight points now coming in that mid-range jump shot area, guys. Yeah, it is, and uh, they're picking their spots and finding holes in the middle of that defense to get those shots off, and I think that's very good discipline they're showing us here. Here's Flynn. Williams picks him up. Deflects the pass. And the basket by Hill. Clippers leading by six. And stolen by Patterson. Well, it's too bad after such an efficient first half. He's starting to turn the ball over here in the second. Griffin. And no mistakes on the layup. You know, he's not going to make a mistake when he gets in tight. That's a good hoop there. 
And here comes Flynn. Timeout called for Rockets. How impressive was Blake Griffin? Became an all-star in just his first season actually playing with the Clippers. And not many people can ever do that in the NBA, especially these days when the players are coming in at such a young age. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Luis Scola, he's checked in for Hayes. Budinger checks in for Jordan Hill. Kevin Martin is checked in for Patrick Patterson. And it's Trogic in for Johnny Flynn. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Kevin McHale coaching his team during that break. He got on his players for their lack of commitment on defense away from the hoop, saying, listen, you've got to close out on their shooters. We can't just let them light us up from three-point territory. So, so nasty. I mean, really nasty. He had the ball. Bullseye with that dish. That is simply poetry in motion. Beautiful play, huh? And Blake Griffin, an all-star in his first season. The last rookie card to be selected as a reserve for the all-star game. Tim Duncan back in 1998. It's pretty rare you have a player walk into the NBA and pretty much immediately claim superstar status. It was a combination of the weight for Blake Griffin after the, the, the injury that cost him his um, official rookie year and then also doing it in L.A. And it doesn't hurt when you can uh, become a hit on YouTube with all of those monster throwdowns. Blake Griffin doing all sorts of things. 13 points, and he's contributed three points from the line, too. Yeah, those are always easy points. I mean, when you can get to the line and knock them down. Uh, sometimes that's, that's the difference in the game, but well, they've got to do something defensively because he's been unstoppable. And defensively, Steve, your only choice now is to double him. I mean, I don't think there's another option. Got that one up good. Nine points for Butler. That's the way to do it. Really nice ball movement there. Here's Drogic. Outside, Mark. And it's good. Walk through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Chuck Hayes, he's checked in for Houston. Flynn comes in for Goran Drogic. Goran Drogic is checked in for the Rockets. That's good for Martin. Los Angeles calls timeout. Johnny Flynn's checked in for Goran Dragic. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. You got to use some clock here. On the wing, and again the Clippers good for two. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. And the Rockets making a change here. Krogic has checked in. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter of this one. That's a two from Martin. Book it. It's been a great day for him from the field, but his team still trailing. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're in front by seven. We've got 148 left in the game. Johnny Flynn's checked in for the Rockets. Here's Billups. The feed to Paul. Shoots over Flynn. And Paul with the basket on the assist by Billups. Phillips has got his fifth assist in this one. Rockets trail by nine. He dishes it to Buttinger. Martin from outside. And another three for Houston. Well, I think he's really willing his team on now. He's carrying. He's going it all. He's yet to miss a shot. And Griffin backs in with the fadeaway. And yes, sir, that one drops. Griffin's got nine points now in just the second half. You can't fault what he's been doing out there. Some really impressive shooting. Flynn against Paul. That's good. Here's Paul. 116 left in the fourth. Covered by Flynn. Fade away. Blocked. Out of bounds. 
and they'll keep possession. Goran Dragic is checked in for Johnny Flynn. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Williams is checked in. Here's Williams. Phillips gets the ball. And Look, if you have to take better care of the ball. And he stands up. Wow! Now the Sprite Slam Cam for the replay. Well, that's a dunk you will. see very often. You won't pass that one by. No doubt about that. I wish he would, though. You can never see too many of those. Ball against Martin. Let's it go from the wing. That's good. 35 points for this ball. Anytime they need a little, he's taking over one shot after another. What is he playing for? Here's Trogic from outside. Connects! What a beautiful shot to put him to within three. Here's Basket here and pretty much wrapped it up. Williams for three. That was good. And the clip was played by Sisters. He knocks down a three of his own. And even if he did it, he just made his first one coming right back to the three of his own. The Rockets making a switch here. Let's check it out. Just might have sealed the game. Here comes Phillips. He did what he could to try to handle that pass, but that was too hard to handle. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Not a lot of options there. This is Kevin Harlan saying so on. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Chris Paul. <laughs>